Good morning everyone and welcome back to Pete Wildlife Park. This morning we've got something a little different for you. So I'm just here with Yaz and the alpacas. Um, so this morning we are going to, if you can hear me, the lemurs are being very loud this morning. Um, so we are doing, this morning we are doing how to train your, and this is our all new live video. So this morning we are going to be training our alpacas. Um, we have just to say as well, we have now closed. Um, the park won't be open until further notice, but we will be posting later to let you all know about that um, and how you can support us as well during this time because obviously we've still got a lot of animals to carry on feeding. We're not sure how long we're going to be closed for, so any support you can guys can give us, it will be much appreciated. Um, but this morning, to save the bad news, we're going to turn it into something a bit fun. Um, so we're going to be training our alpacas and Yaz is going to give you the options of what we are going to train our alpacas to do. So I'm going to spin you around. Hi Yaz. <laughs> Good morning everybody, hope you're all okay. So this year at peak we've decided to really get involved with our animal training and one of the animals we've decided to train is <laughs> lovely alpacas. We've got El Bebe here and Chikorito. So we've had a really good hard think about what we can train our, our alpacas to do and we want you to help us decide. So the first option is training our alpacas to differentiate between colours. So that means we can tell them what colour object to pick up and they'll pick that up. Or She's going for the bucket. <laughs> she knows. Um, or we are going to train them to do agility. So it's either choosing colours or agility. So it's completely up to you guys and Lou's going to put later on so um, keep your eyes peeled for that and you can help us decide how we're going to train our alpacas. Um, so lots of the training techniques I'm going to be use, using you can apply at home so if you have a dog, a cat or even a rat and um, you could do training at home so if you have found yourself stuck in a situation at home with nothing to do but you've got a pet maybe you can get involved in some animal training. Sorry these guys are being so cute this morning. <laughs> I thought they were going to like stand in the background until we called them over. Hi! Get, in, get involved as well guys. Um, so Yaz has given you the two options. We've got a few people saying agility already. Um, wow. It's hopefully going to be the best option because it would be so funny to try and get these guys to do some agility. Um, but if anyone would like, it is pretty cool that they can differentiate colours. So if anyone would like to see that, please just pop it in the comments below. Get involved. Also if anyone would like a shout out, then please pop your name in the comments below. Um, and we'll give you a shout out as well, but I'll hand it back over to Yaz so she can explain a little bit more about the techniques. Okay guys, so with animal training, and uh, you might be thinking, why are we going to animal training? So one of the main reasons is for animal management and care. So it's a good way to manage your animals and also a really good way to help with health care. Um, luckily our alpacas are quite inquisitive, but if we do try and do any um, health care with them, they do tend to go a bit of a wobbly. And don't really like it so it's just a good way to build a healthy relationship with your animal um, and another thing is just enrichment alpacas are really inquisitive animals and we've found some of the enrichment we give them they're not really that bothered about so this is a good way to keep their brains working um, and keep them nice and focused Hi. <laughs> as you can see our bebe very inquisitive so if you are going to do some training there's going to be some things you need so the first thing you need is an alpaca which <laughs> The other thing you'll need is a reward, so something that tells the animal that they've done a good job. So we've got some carrots here for our alpacas and also a little bit of their pellet mix, which they do really enjoy. You can see Chikorito especially. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry guys, once we're done, we'll be putting this in a trough for them so they will get their fair share of food. Chikorito is very food orientated, so um, that's good if you train an animal. Um, so the reward doesn't necessarily have to be food. If your animal likes a really good scratch on the neck, that can be a reward as well so it doesn't always have to be food so the next thing you'll need is a bridge so like a clicker or a whistle or even a command I'm losing the alpacas now oh no um, so well done <laughs> and then if you need one a target so a target can be something like this or you can use your hand or something else around something that you can hang on a fence so hopefully you'll see as we go along so i'm not going to use a target today because we're just going to get the alpacas used to the clicker that this means well done and we want them to associate the reward um, with the bridge. So if I'm going to feed them, I'm going to do a click. So would this That's be the first thing. step? Obviously, we've given you guys the two options. So Yaz here is doing this first step to the, get them to associate the reward with the bridge. Um, so for either of these two options, this is the first step that she's going to need. Absolutely. 
absolutely that's right so this just lets the alpacas know they've gonna done a good job so whichever way we decide to go with the training um, and this is going to be a baseline for any training we decide to do in the future so this is really a good base that you should have with your animals so with our how to train your videos um we are going to be catching up so we've chosen four animals we're going to be catching up with them every single month so this is our first session with our alpacas um, and then next week we will move on to a different animal and we will catch up with these next month to see how they've got on with the training that you guys choose um, so whilst Jazz is carrying on with this first step of training, I'm going to give a few people some shout outs. <laughs> More interested in something else. So I'll say hi to Emma, hi to Sarah, hi Angie, hi Sarah, hi Maureen, hi Claire, hi Lucy, hi Zoe, hi to Isabel, hi Steve. Got quite a few people joining us this morning. Got a few people saying colours, a few people saying agility. Hi Leslie, hi Elsie, hi Joe, hi Leanne, hi Sally, hi Jenny. Sorry guys, I'm reading everything so it takes a little bit of time. <laughs> <laughs> Alison's asking, have we got any more alpacas? Um, at the moment we do, we have a male in who was going to cover the girls. Um, so we are hoping that we might have some baby alpacas in the future but it is really hard to tell with them but we just have the two girls on show at the moment which are just in the enclosure with our penguins and Mara so we'll say hi Elsie as well hi Claire hi Angie hi Lynn hi to Charlotte and Ethan hi Wen hi Stacey thanks so much for joining us this morning let us know what you're up to as well and as Jazz says hopefully you can use now we are find ourselves in another lockdown hopefully this is something that you guys can do with your pets at home um carrie's saying i hope you're keeping warm out there today it is quite cold <laughs> i'm trying our best too bad this i've been running around um checking all the animals and giving them their breakfast so i think as long as i keep moving <laughs> keep it positive and um, if the animal does start doing something you don't want them to do just ignore it you don't need to tell them off or anything else like that just ignore it and then they'll pick up that if they're getting rewarded for the thing you want them to do you won't do the negative thing anymore so it's always good to keep a positive relationship with the animals which means you can get nice and close like this um, and as well listen to the animal if the animal walks off and isn't interested that's fine you need to work with them um, and just try again in a little bit. It's a good thing with training sessions is to keep them short and sweet and make sure you've got that animal's attention. So you can see our our alpacas. We're already used to hand feeding, um, but just introducing that clicker because sometimes when you introduce something like this, animals get really scared and run off. Um, not much gets to our alpacas, especially our baby. She's so nosy. I'm going to chicory or sneaking up behind me there. So <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I don't want the clicker. I just want the food. <laughs> So as you can see how Yaz is doing it, um, just in case you guys are struggling at home a little bit. So what she's doing is she's holding a reward in her hand. She's got a clicker in another hand and then she is making the clicker sound just as she gives them the food. So they get that association between the clicker and a reward. So Lynn's saying it's looking a bit cool, sending some love and oh. sun from Cape Town. I love it. <laughs> I'm expecting it any second now. It does look like it's clearing. Thanks very much. <laughs> look at it. I think it's just the sun rising. Yeah. <laughs> Hi to Effie Ray. Hi Deb. Eamon's saying alpaca band. I think this is a continuation of the live from the other day. Oh, brilliant. So depending on what you guys choose for our, I was going to say agility then, choose for our training. Just... Yeah, <laughs> agility, agility. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be, as Jazz said, I'm going to be posting a poll on Facebook later on today. So you guys can choose um, what these guys are trained to do. Um, but to give you a little bit more insight into both those options, what if we were to train them to differentiate colours, What? how would we go about that, Jazz? Um, so what we would do is we would use the um, command yellow, for example, and if we had yellow objects, that would be. <laughs> um, and every time they picked up a yellow object, we would click and reward them with the treat. 
And then once we were comfortable with yellow, we would say another colour, so blue, um, and we would ignore the fact that they picked up a yellow one until they picked up a blue one and reward them. Um, so it does depend on the individual. Um, but our packers are quite intelligent animals, so I think they'd pick it up really quickly. Um, it's just as simple as that. So it's just something a little bit more fun for them to get their brains working. Um, and again, to build up a good relationship with them, like I said, um, these animals are great and every minute we spend with them is so much fun. So I'm up for any excuse to spend some time <laughs> with these guys. <laughs> you are too cute. And for the agility, what would we do in respect for that? Um, so with the agility, what we would need them to do is get them to follow the target, which I had before. Um, so <laughs> the is not a fan of it at the moment. But basically, a target is just something the animal will follow. So, see, our baby's not a fan, so I'd have to get used to this. But basically, just like they were coming to me for hand feeding, I would say target, and they would follow that target. So we get them just touching their nose to it or um, anything else. You can use a paw, um, a tail, anything at all, and you can get creative. And then once you say target, you can start moving it away once we've got the basic, and you can kind of get them to move wherever you like. Um, so this is really good. Um, if you're trying to crate train something, if you want them to get into a crate, because um, obviously you can't stick your hand in the crate with the animal, but what you can do is pop your target in or even stick a target into the back of the crate. So it's just something that they recognise as food or the reward that you're giving them. Um, so if you tune in with other training sessions, you'll probably see these being used quite a lot. They are really, really handy. Um, and all it is, is a little ball screwed onto an end of a piece of wood. So you don't have to buy expensive ones, you can make them on your own at home with whatever you've got lying around and um, even you use craft toy, ideas <laughs> yeah um anything it's fine you could use a banana if you wanted to like, <laughs> you can just the animals are really clever and um, one thing is to remember though when you're doing your training um obviously the animals do understand some words we say but not everything um and a lot of animals communicate with body language so how they've held their ears their tail their, how high they've got their head. So just remember when you're doing your training, that is important, the way you hold yourself. And um, if you keep doing something um, repeatedly that you might not realize you're doing, they will pick that up, um, or even the tone of your voice. So it's always good to have someone watching you. And what I'm probably going to do later is watch this video back and see if I've done anything um, that might make the alpacas think I'm wanting them to do something else. Um, so just remember that as well. They see everything that's going on with you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Especially being... the alpacas, they've got those lovely big eyes, they don't miss anything, and those big ears. Um, so See you later. <laughs> I don't know why you feed the alpacas in their shelter for the breakfast, so I think they're thinking. It's breakfast <laughs> it's time. time. So we've got Joe asking what the names are. So we've got Albebe here, and Chikorito just over there at the back. So we'll say hi to a few more people as well. Remember guys, if you want to shout out, just pop your name in the comments below. If you've got any questions about training, also pop that in the comments and I'll ask Yaz for you. Um, even if it is how you can use these techniques, hi, how you can use these techniques at home. Because obviously it will be a little bit different with regards to training an alpaca, but at the same time, the basis of training can be transferred over, as Yaz says, to your pets at home. So hi to Dave, hi Amanda, hi Tina, hi Beth, hi Laura, hi Karen, hi Abby. <laughs> <laughs> the risk of animal training might get burped on. <laughs> Nikki is asking, are they friendly? Um, yes, our alpacas are very friendly if they um, like what's going on. Um, they are known to kick. Um, luckily, our girls are used to us, but just always be mindful of that if you are getting close to an alpaca. Um, but yeah, they're really friendly. Um, they don't spit on us. I know that might be a question. Um, sometimes you can hear them bringing it up in their throat, but they've never actually spat on us as of yet, although you could see it when I'm training them. So even if you just want to see that, you should just keep watching. <laughs> also, Albebe has the most amazing... When she was does not want to do something, she will just lie down. <laughs> she's a wobbler, like a toddler. Um, and she's quite heavy, so we can't. We just have to let her go up for it. So that could end up how the training ends up. If she does not want to do it, she might just lie down, which could be. I can see that happening. Yeah. Can't we? Yeah, she's very dramatic. She's extra, <laughs> but we love it. Jenny is asking, how old are they? From yes, Alice, actually. So, I think they're coming up to two years old now aren't they i think so yeah gosh that's gone really quick so we got them when they were six months old so they're <laughs> quite a lot smaller than this so they're almost two um 
She's really good. And um, they are the same age as well. Um, El Bebe used to be a little bit smaller because um, she was partially hand reared the place she come from. But I think she's, um, she's a good big lass now. Very healthy. <laughs> and lovely coat that's very dirty. You're very mucky. You try to sneak behind You've me, got you? snow on your snoot. Oh, you're missing out. Girls. So I would say this is a good first training session. Um, so what I did before this training session was I wrote out a plan. So I just got my computer out, or you can get a pen and paper, and just write what your goal is, and what equipment you're going to need, and how you're going to do it step by step. So if you Google that, you can find loads of stuff online to help. <laughs> <laughs> and then what I'm going to do later is write a log of this, just so I know um, exactly where I'm up to with things, um, and I can write down what went well, what went bad, and what my next step is going to be. And that also helps out in zoos because um, if you're not in and someone else wants to do some training with the animals, they can have a quick look at that log and see what went on. Um, so we record everything. Were the animals aggressive? Was it good? Was it a bad training session? And sometimes if the animals don't pick up a technique, you can just go back to one that they do really well because you always want to leave them on a positive and let the animals know they've done a really good job because they always do. Don't you? So how long sort of will you be doing the clicker training, for example? Um, until they're comfortable doing it. So I think on the next session, I'll probably try and introduce um, the target or the colours um, for them. So it, it depends on the animal, really. You can see they're really comfortable. They're not scared of this. Um, you can see they don't mind when I click that. Their ears don't go back. They don't look scared. So that's a really good sign. Um, I can move on to that next step. We've got Noah, age four, asking. He would like to know, sorry. Are they hard to train? Um, I think alpacas aren't hard to train because they naturally are so um, nosy and inquisitive. Um, I think it would be a bit harder if they were a little bit shy. I guess it does depend on the individual personalities. Um, so when we first got the girls, they were really shy and nervous of us. But we have managed to halt to train them. Um, that did take a while. Um, but once they know that it's a good thing, <laughs> head on me. <laughs> so you pick it up really quick. <laughs> Scratching post. Hi. <laughs> Do you feel slightly loved? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we need an alpaca cam. Yeah. To see the world through an alpaca's eyes. If you bring up any bits <laughs> to onto the floor. Hi Molly, hi Duncan, thanks for joining us. Hi Amy, hi Tori, hi Sally, hi Julie. Wendy's asking, do you groom them? Um, we do sometimes, yes. Um, El Bebe, for some reason, gets so much dirtier than she breathes out. And so we do have um, some brushes and combs for them, which we do give them a good brush, um, which isn't their favorite thing. So we do give them a nice big reward at the end for being really well behaved. Um, and then when it gets a bit warm enough as well, we will shear them. Um, so they'll have nice fresh haircuts. Um, Some of you might remember from the first lockdown, <laughs> we these guys took part in the lockdown haircut challenge. So you guys chose which haircut they got and it, dis it ended up being the lion head. So as you can see slightly on chicory... Yeah, that... so, so the hair on their head oh, still in. a little bit longer and they just look super adorable. <laughs> yeah, I think we so we have to keep um, trimming around their eyes so they can see. <laughs> oh, it's all right, girls. So one thing as well, and um, we might figure out from the training that we might need two people here. You can see it's a bit hard for me then to feed both of them at the same time. So we can either train one at a time if they don't feel stressed or need, if needs be, we can just get another person to come along, and one person can focus on one animal and one can focus on the other. Just because um, Elbebe got a little bit pushed out then by Chikorito. Because um, Chikorito loves snacks. <laughs> um, so I'm sure many people like me can appreciate that. Whereas Elbebe does like her food, but she's not as food orientated. Um, so as Jess said earlier as well, so like she's just said, she's not as food orientated. So if you are training your dog at home, some dogs will be the same. So they won't be very food orientated. You can use things like a toy to reward them or as Jazz said earlier as well, um, like scratching the neck, a good scratch. Um, just something that they see as a positive, positive and a reward for doing something good. 
Yeah, so our male Vaughty pig, Dee Dee, um, when we reward him with food, he gets really excited and then just starts to get a little bit grumpy. Um, so we found if we give him a nice little scratch behind the ear through the fence, he loves that. <laughs> and it works really well and it means he doesn't get really wound up and um, naughty when you're doing the training because he does like to eat the end of targets. So <laughs> RIP, we have had a few go um, missing that we've had to retrieve once he's chewed them up. Um, yeah, so it's not always the best thing food, but for most animals it does work really well. No one would like to know what they eat. Well, we've got here is an alpaca mix. So you can see we've got um, an alpaca mix here and also some grass pellet. Oh, oh. sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Alba Bear. Um, so we give them a mix of pellet and um, we also give them a little bit of veg um, and they also eat hay and they eat grass. And if you look around the bushes in the enclosure, they eat plenty of different types of plants as well. So good lawn mowers, really. We never put grass in here. We do a good job, girls. Part of the groundskeeping team. I'm excited to see what people choose. Mm. So remember guys, it's either agility or colour, learning colours. So please just keep guessing and keep, not guessing, keep <laughs> voting for what you'd like us to train the alpacas. Um, and I will just go back over to Yaz and let her explain like how you would end a training session because obviously she said earlier that you want to keep it all positive. Um, so I'll let her show you how she would end a training session. So I'm going to bring this training session to an end now. You can tell the alpacas are getting a little bit bored. They are wandering off and coming back. So what I'm going to do is just give them a really nice big reward saying well done. And then I'm going to put that equipment away um, so they know it's over. So good girl. So she's got a nice big handful there. And then we'll get another big handful for you. Got a few more people saying agility. Woohoo! <laughs> So that's how we'll end it guys and um, you can also pick a certain food item to end that training session like the jackpot reward and um, these guys really like everything and um, so they're quite happy with anything like that um, and also you can maybe blow a whistle or ring a bell as well to let them know it's done but they've done a really good job so i've put my clicker away and um, so they're not associating that with the training session now and um, yeah so they've done really good you can see they're still interested still happy and that's a really good way to leave your training session um, with your animals Lots of people saying agility. I'm getting super excited. Oh, I'm <laughs> we can go through it together, it'll be fun. But it's gonna be great. I think we can make some like memes out of Alberta throwing a wobbly. I think you're gonna be good at it. I think she'll be good. Do a prediction. Who do you think who do you think will be better at the training? Zoe saying vote for agility, another one. So these guys, are, I think they're wandering around for their breakfast. Yeah, like, yes. Come, on. Come on. So we will let these guys go and enjoy their breakfast. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, everybody. We hope everybody is okay and everybody is staying okay. And now we've got into another lockdown, but we will be coming to you with lots of live videos. So please stay tuned on our social media. We will be keeping you all updated as to what's going on with these guys. And as I say, next week, I think we will be moving to our lemurs. I think so, yeah. We'll be moving to our lemurs. So we're going to be doing some training with those next Tuesday. So please catch up with us then to see us train our lemurs. And we will also have our breakfast show on Friday as well as normal. So join us for that. Um, I'm not sure who we're going to go and see yet, but please... Woohoo! <laughs> um, if there's anyone in particular you'd like to go and see or you'd like to go and eat breakfast with on Friday then pop that in the comments as well and um, we'll take it all into consideration and uh, we will go and see the animals that you guys want to see to keep you all motivated and happy during this next lockdown so from me and Yaz and the alpacas thank you very much have a lovely day and we shall see you soon